What if you could outmaneuver narcissists using their own tools? Join us as we delve into seven strategic ways to use their methods against them, revealing how to navigate their world like a pro. The last two are especially powerful, so make sure watch until the end. Number 1. Mirroring. Mirroring is a strategic tool that allows you to counter the manipulation tactics of narcissists by turning their techniques back on them. This approach capitalizes on their desire for admiration and validation, using their own behavior to expose their patterns. When employing mirroring, you subtly imitate their behaviors and attitudes, providing them with a taste of their own tactics. This can involve echoing their language, gestures, or even their level of engagement. By doing so, you challenge their perception of control and familiarity. Mirroring offers a dual purpose, revealing their manipulation and unsettling their expectations. By showcasing that their tactics are transparent, you disrupt their cycle of influence and force them to reckon with their own behavior. This technique requires a delicate balance. While mirroring their behavior, you maintain your authenticity and control. The goal is not to mimic them entirely, but to highlight their attempts at manipulation while asserting your own agency. Mirroring empowers you to navigate interactions with clarity and composure. By turning their tactics back on them, you strip away their cloak of control and expose their true intentions. Stepping into the role of the mirror allows you to assert your own presence and intentions, unraveling their manipulation and fostering relationships that are grounded in authenticity and mutual respect. Number 2. Grey Rock Technique The Grey Rock Technique stands as a strategic shield against the manipulation of narcissists, offering a powerful means to safeguard your emotional well-being. Rooted in the concept of rendering oneself as uninteresting as a grey rock, this approach disrupts their cycle of seeking emotional reactions. When interacting with a narcissist, you adopt an emotionally neutral stance. Instead of engaging in their provocations or providing the reactions they crave, you become a passive observer. This technique aims to starve them of the emotional supply they desperately seek. The beauty of the grey rock technique lies in its simplicity. By withholding emotional responses, you undercut their attempts to manipulate your feelings and actions. Narcissists thrive on eliciting strong emotions, and when you deny them this satisfaction, their tactics lose their potency. This technique requires discipline and patience. It demands that you resist the urge to engage in heated debates or emotional exchanges, which are their favored battlegrounds. Instead, you focus on maintaining an unemotional demeanor, like an impervious grey rock in a tumultuous sea. The grey rock technique empowers you to break free from their manipulation and regain control over your emotional responses. By embracing this method, you strip them of the power to affect your emotions and decisions, ultimately diminishing their influence over you. Stepping into the role of an unreactive observer allows you to navigate interactions on your terms, preventing their tactics from penetrating your emotional defenses. Number 3. Reverse Love Bombing. Reverse Love Bombing is a calculated tactic that enables you to take the reins in interactions with narcissists, flipping the script on their manipulation tactics. This approach involves mirroring their tactics in unexpected ways, leaving them off balance and questioning their own strategies. Their love bombing involves overwhelming someone with excessive affection, reverse love bombing involves showering the narcissist with attention when they least anticipate it. This catches them by surprise, as they are accustomed to being the ones in control of the emotional dynamics. By employing reverse love bombing, you create a shift in the power dynamics. You seize control of the emotional landscape, showcasing that their tactics can be turned against them. This technique exposes their insincerity and reveals their reliance on emotional manipulation. Implementing reverse love bombing requires finesse. It involves strategic timing and unexpected actions that challenge their expectations. Your goal is not to replicate their tactics, but to disrupt their control and show that their tactics are ineffective in manipulating you. Number 4. Selective listening. Selective listening is a potent strategy that enables you to regain control in interactions with narcissists by mirroring their manipulation tactics back at them. This approach involves carefully choosing what to respond to and what to ignore, giving you the upper hand in the conversation. 
When practicing selective listening, you emulate their behavior by focusing only on what serves your interests or intentions. This subtle tactic challenges their assumption that they hold the reins of the interaction, revealing that you too can dictate the flow. By utilizing selective listening, you take control of the narrative and create a dynamic where they must adapt to your cues and cues alone. This technique uncovers their manipulation tactics and showcases that their attempts to steer the conversation are futile. Implementing selective listening requires tact and strategy. It involves responding selectively to certain points while remaining silent on others, creating a sense of disorientation for the narcissist. Your goal is not to mimic their behavior, but to shift the balance of control. Selective listening empowers you to navigate conversations with confidence and poise. By strategically choosing what to engage with, you challenge their manipulation and assert your agency over the interaction. Stepping into the role of the curator allows you to dismantle their tactics and cultivate relationships that prioritize genuine communication and mutual respect. Number 5. Gaslighting. Gaslighting is a manipulative technique that narcissists often employ to undermine your perception of reality. It's a powerful tool that challenges your sense of truth and reality, leaving you questioning your own sanity. Gaslighting involves distorting facts, denying events, or even shifting blame to make you doubt your own memory and judgment. This tactic is aimed at destabilizing your confidence and making you more dependent on the narcissist's version of events. To counter gaslighting, you need to become a guardian of your reality. Trust your instincts and maintain a record of conversations and incidents to validate your experiences. Seek support from trustworthy friends or professionals who can provide an outside perspective. Recognizing gaslighting empowers you to stand firm in your reality. By understanding their manipulation tactics, you can assert your own truths and refuse to be swayed by their distortions. Stepping into the role of a truth defender allows you to dismantle their gaslighting attempts and foster relationships grounded in clarity and authenticity. Number 6. Triangulation. Triangulation is a complex manipulation tactic used by narcissists to maintain control and sow discord among those around them. This strategy involves involving a third party in conflicts or interactions, creating a web of manipulation that serves their own interests. Narcissists use triangulation to manipulate perceptions, pitting individuals against each other or using a third party to validate their own narrative. This tactic allows them to control the flow of information and maintain a dynamic where they hold the upper hand. Triangulation is the most manipulative tactic of narcissists, so if you choose to use it, please be careful. Number 7. Play the victim. Playing the victim is a cunning manipulation tactic employed by narcissists to elicit sympathy, deflect accountability, and maintain control over interactions. This ploy involves portraying themselves as the wounded party, effectively shifting focus away from their own actions and onto their perceived suffering. Narcissists use the victim card to garner support, manipulate emotions, and maintain a position of power. By casting themselves as victims, they effectively manipulate others into feeling responsible for their emotional well-being and actions. This can be a powerful tactic, so use it wisely. If you're struggling with narcissistic abuse, please see the link in the description to get some help. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more information on how to fight narcissistic abuse. We recommend the video on how to identify narcissists next.